So what comes inside the box? We have one yoga book. We have a yoga book pad. We have our uh, adapter, which is actually a micro USB. We have a cleaning cloth, which is definitely a plus to have. I'm going to tell you why later. Uh, we have manuals and uh, a nice little coupon. We have the real pen. Awesome. We have uh, refill ink cartridges, which they actually give us three, which is a plus. And this little guy right here is for the micro SD slot to put it inside the pinhole to eject it. So you could put a micro SD card, which is cool. Okay, so let's get down to the specifications on the Lenovo Yoga Book. So it's actually running a 2.4 gigahertz Intel Atom X5 Z8550 processor. It's equipped with an Intel HD 400 graphics processor and it has four gigs of LPWDR3 memory. It comes with a beautiful 10.1 inch full HD IPS display with a resolution of 1920 by 1200. Storage capacity is only 64 gigs, but it's actually expandable to 128 gigs with a micro SD. The rear camera is actually eight megapixel, while the front camera is sporting two megapixel. Battery capacity is actually 8,500 milliamps per hour, and the Windows version comes with carbon black. The yoga book is actually made out of magnesium aluminum alloy, and the dimensions of the device is actually 10.1 inches by 6.72 inches. And the thickness is actually 0.38 inches. It weighs 1.52 pounds and it comes in two flavors. You can either get it with Android Marshmallow or Windows 10 Home Edition. All right, let's take a closer look on the yoga book. So if you have the laptop to the point that uh, you have it with the hinges facing you, uh, we are going to take a look at the right hand side. Now on the right hand side, this guy has very few ports. This is the speaker system right here. This is your micro HDMI ports, your micro SD slots, and also your micro USB port, which is also your charging port. On the other side, we have uh, a 3.5 millimeter hybrid port, which allows you to hook up your mic and headphone jack. You have your volume control, uh, another set of speakers, and your power button slash sleep button. So how about the real pen? The real pen feels like a real pen. Uh, nothing really extraordinary about this pen. Uh, when you do open it up, you get the default ink cartridge or status cartridge. Uh, the way that you know that you have the status cartridge is that the tip of the pen is actually black. This is the one that you use as a status. You're able to take it out and then replace it with the three that it comes with. This is actually the ink cartridge. Uh, I did notice that this guy is really hard to remove out of the pen. And again, this is a real pen. So that's pretty cool. It's really hard to remove these ink cartridges. It's to the point that you got to have a good grip to take it out. Uh, it, they do say that you could use the cap to remove it, but I don't see myself using the cap. There's no really a mechanism to remove it. It's not like you could twist it and then pull to remove it because it doesn't really do that at all okay so another accessory that the yoga book comes with is the book pad it feels and looks like an ordinary notepad that's about it nothing special about this pad uh, it does come with nice instructions of how to use it how to place it within the yoga book but i do notice when you flip it this pad actually has like a nice little weight the actual pad in the back feels a little bit magnetic so when you actually place it on the yoga book, it kind of snaps and which is pretty cool. But uh, the paper is just regular paper, nothing really designed. It does have a nice little grid, but uh, it's nothing special other than pad. The pad itself in the back, which is magnetic, is where all the magic happens. All right, so let's power this guy up. Again, the power is actually located on your right hand side. And all you gotta do is just press and hold it a little bit and it will power it on. There it goes, it's powering on. Uh, and then we're gonna take a look at the keyboard layout. So this is the famous yoga book keyboard. It's considered the Halo keyboard. Uh, it's a virtual keyboard. It's the same kind of layout that you would see when you're using a tablet, but what they did is they placed it within hardware and they attached it to make it feel and look like a netbook or a laptop. The keyboard is made of a layer of Gorilla Glass with anti-glare coating with matted and grainy paint, which makes it a little weird and different when you're using it. 
uh, it's one of these things that you have to teach yourself how to use a keyboard again because you're so used to using a mechanical or switch keyboard to actually fill those keys. But this right here is like a, a huge learning disability. You know, you have to teach yourself how to use a keyboard again. The keyboard layout on the yoga book is very compact and small. It does remind me like a netbook device. Uh, I kind of find that it's going to be extremely hard for individuals with big hands to actually position their fingers within the home keys and use it. Uh, that's the only downside about that. Uh, people with big hands is going to have problems using the keyboard a little bit. Uh, it's fully backlit. That's the only way that you can use the Halo keyboard. It has to light up each key for you to actually see it, which is awesome. This is the brightest that it could get. It can't get any brighter than this. Can't really tell you how the keys feel. Uh, again, because of the Gorilla Glass material and that grainy feel, it feels like an actual touchpad. Uh, I do notice it, it vibrates and you can turn that setting off, which is a little annoying and it also clicks. This is what you normally get. This is the default. You're going to get that clicking. So every time you're typing or doing something, you're going to get that annoying vibration and that click. You're, there's a setting within Windows that allows you to turn it off. The distance between the keys and the trackpad is right on, real tight, real small. It's really easy to use the keypad with no problem uh, because, again, because I have big hands, my thumbs are like right on top of the trackpad with no problem. So I'm, I'm capable of typing away and using a trackpad without even raising my hand constantly. So that's that's a huge plus. So the trackpad. Now the trackpad is designed in a way that is extremely small. Uh, I would say this is about uh, 1.5 inches in height. And uh, I don't know, I don't know. It's, it's really hard to get accustomed with the new trackpad uh, because of the way it feels. Uh, it's not very responsive when you're touching. Sometimes it kind of like it's really hard to find the mouse. I'm constantly like dragging to find the mouse. Uh, I did change the settings within the speed for the mouse, but it still doesn't make a difference. The left and right click, you would think the left and right click would be at the very bottom, but that's not the case because Lenovo actually placed the left and right click between these margins right here. These little boxes are your left click and your right click. Sometimes I notice that it doesn't respond right away which it's, it's a downside about this device. Okay, so what's the deal on the display? Again, it comes with a beautiful 10.1 IPS display. The only downside about the display is not anti-glare, which sucks. Uh, I kind of find it difficult using it outside because you're gonna have that horrible glare on the display. Again, the resolution is 1920 by 1200, which is, surpasses the 1080p uh, HD. Uh, gives you that nice, crisp, clean, smooth visual design uh, when you're watching movies or if you're using Photoshop or photo editing or you're, you know, just checking out photos. The screen is touch, which is a plus, especially if you're folding it up into like tablet mode. And uh, this is the brightest that this display could get. From my understanding, it goes up to 400 nit. Uh, let's go down a little bit. I'm going to show you guys the lowest that it could go. So this is the lowest of brightness. Like right now, you probably can't see it, but I kind of see the icons, and that's about it. I can't see as much. But if you raise it up, this is about 50%, and then this is a full 100%. You probably hear the vibration in those clicks is because of the keyboard. Again, like I said earlier, by default, the keyboard is set up to vibrate and click. You could turn it off. But for me, I got to get used to the new keyboard layout because if not, uh, I'm going to start mistyping a lot. All right, so let's take a closer look on the coolest feature on the yoga book, and it's the pen, the real pen. Right now I have the, the status cartridge inserted, and to use this guy, when I first opened up the box and I started playing around with the device, I thought you had to use it this way. You could use it this way, but it's not really responsive. Uh, it, you see that it's working, but I am getting a couple of skips, and I'm not raising it up. So I'm doing it lightly, but you're getting those little hops. The way that you could take fully advantage of the real pen is if you put the tablet full down. Now, the way that you know it's really activated or this section is activated to use it as a huge status or like a Wacom uh, is when the keyboard kind of turns off. Right now it's still lit up, so you actually have to just bend it a little bit for this to switch off. So it's switched off. Now I'm able to use it 
and uh, play around with it. That's one way. And another way is, if, let's bring this guy up. So if I bring it up, the keys are up. Another way, there's a button right here that looks like a pen. If you hold it and press it, it turns it off and you automatically uh, enable the device to start using it as a big trackpad. Look at that. And that's awesome. All right, so we saw the huge uh, Halo keyboard in action using the real pen. It's really simple to activate the Halo keyboard and then switch it off to the point that you're able to use it uh, as a status. So all you gotta do is just press down that key and then you're able to use it with no problem. And then you press it again and then you get the Halo keyboard activated, which is awesome. So we saw the real pen in action using the status ink cartridge. I like the fact that you're able to use this entire layout right here and just draw away. So let's turn that off. So let's take a look at how the book pad is used within the yoga book. Now, one thing that I did notice is you would think that when you place the book pad on the Halo keyboard, it will automatically uh, enable it and then you're able to use it, but that's not the case. Uh, so that means you actually have to either press the button to uh, disable the Halo keyboard and then you're able to place the book pad on top of it and then you can open it up and then you're able to use it like this, which is awesome, look at that. Okay, so replacing this guy, all I gotta do is just pull. It's not that simple to pull it, so don't think that it was easy for me to do it. I actually have to place the tip of the cartridge into my mouth and pull it. It's really hard to take it out. Uh, so we're gonna swap it out with the ink cartridge one and we're just gonna easily just press down and we are just gonna start writing. So right now I'm gonna physically write on the pad with ink. And let's say, hello, world. Oh, look at that. Well, it's type, it's doing it, but because it's such a big stroke, we're not really getting anything. So let's change to that. Oh, let's do a pencil, do a pencil, and let's do, look at that, really accurate which is awesome, look at that, awesome. Cool. That's pretty cool, this, this, is, this is really, I can really see this being used in the graffiti world. Look at that, and it's on point. This is one of the cool features about the yoga book. I like this. I like the fact that you're able to draw on real paper and still get that digitized uh, within the tablet. That means you don't have to redo it again, which is cool. So we saw the real pen in action. Cool. We were able to, you know, write on it with no problem with real ink. But how about if I use a real pen and I have a mechanical pencil? So I'm using a real pen and it will not work at all with the real pen. I have a pencil right here. So this real pen is actually very special. Uh, inside of it, it has a little bit of technology. It's capable of talking to the notepad and the tablet itself. So how about the sound on the yoga book? Uh, tablets are well known to have good audio enhancement, especially on the yoga line. So the yoga book has been enhanced with Atmos uh, audio features. So I have iTunes up and running and I'm going to play Do It Right within the YouTube audio library. That's where I got the file. We are going to hit play. And before I do that, we have the volume all the way to 100%. And let's hit play. Now I'm gonna lower it down a little bit. Let's lower it down to, that's 44%, right? All the way down. That's zero. Let's raise it up again. That's 50%, it's durable. Again, the sound is coming on the left and right hand side. Let's go up to 100%. Okay, so this is what I was telling you guys. I'm moving the mouse and I can't get a reaction. It took a while for the mouse to actually react. And that's one of the downside about this tablet. The trackpad is not responsive. 
The audio is great. I didn't really hear any bleeds or distortions. It, it sounds excellent to my old ears, but uh, it's just that trackpad is bothering me a little bit. So with these tablets, laptops, computers, PCs that I like to do hands-on and reviews for you guys, I like to test out the temperature. Uh, at, this device has been up and running since the very beginning of this recording. And uh, even though I've used it already, I didn't notice any heat problems. So right now I have my nice uh, digital thermometer or my infrared thermometer. I'm going to click on it in the back. And it's reading 83.3, which is really weird because I'm putting my hand on it and it does not feel like it's 83.3, which is really weird. I'm going to do it one more time. Right now it's reading 82.5. Okay, so my overall impressions on the yoga book. Okay, the size of it is dead on with the size of 10.1 inches and about, uh, I would say, 6.72 inches. And the thickness is a whopping 0 0.38 inches. I mean, and it weighs about 1.52, 53 pounds. It's extremely light. It's really comfortable, easy in the hands, light travel. I do see myself actually purchasing this. The retail price for this guy, the Windows version, I believe, is about $549. Uh, and then the Android version, I believe, is like four something. The build quality is very strong. Uh, I'm loving the new design of the hinges that Lenovo has used in the past with their yoga book lineup. Uh, the build itself overall is made out of magnesium aluminum alloy, which makes it nice and strong and durable to use. I love the fact that they still have the whole tablet version, uh, tent version, which is right now I'm in tablet version tent version uh, and then the regular version which is like the laptop form you're probably asking yourself how about the battery life battery life is always important with any particular device and I actually ran mobile mark uh, on this particular device and it gave me a whopping 12 hours now if you never heard about mobile mark what it does is it runs like Photoshop uh, Premiere uh, Google Sketch uh, office products, it constantly opens, generates stuff, renders stuff constantly into cycles. And it took about 20 cycles to do all that. Between each cycle, it takes, it takes a break about 10 to 15 minutes and it starts the cycle again. It took 20 times to actually kill the battery, which lasts around 12 hours. The battery life is amazing. Charging time took between about 1.5 to 2 hours to charge it up, which is awesome. Uh, so if you need to charge it up real quick, just plug it in, do what you need to do, and by the time you finish packing and you need to head out the house, the device should be charged up fully. So my final conclusions on the Yoga Book. I mean, great price, great gadget, great toy to have, but is it worth purchasing it? Uh, my opinion, no. And the reason why is because the keyboard is really hard to get used to, but it's just another curveball thrown to you that you need to learn something new. Uh, and that's one of the things that I don't like about it. One thing that I do like to see that Lenovo work on is the trackpad. They, they have to work on this trackpad. This trackpad is not very responsive. Uh, I, again, I did went to settings and I manipulated the settings to work uh, to have the mouse work a little faster, but it just doesn't work. It's not very responsive. Uh, like I said earlier, very earlier on the video, that cloth is very important because I don't know if you guys can see, but this entire keyboard is just smug with my fingerprints. So and, and that's another thing. It just gets extremely dirty. Uh, the, it does come with two cameras. You know, you got the front camera and then you got the rear camera. Uh, one of the cameras is actually located on the keyboard, which when you put it into like the tablet form, you're able to take pictures with no problem. And the other one is actually on the display. The one in the display is the one that you're doing like video conferencing or you're using Skype or Zoom or whatever you need to do to, or take selfies if you want. If you're looking for something to travel with, which is extremely light and you have a budget and you're only going to be surfing the internet or maybe modifying, uploading, editing photos, you could probably get away with this device. It could handle Photoshop. Uh, it could handle a little bit of video editing. Uh, don't get me wrong, you can't render 4K videos on it because you probably kill it. But 
Uh, it's a light travel, easy to travel around with it. You can put it, stick it in the bag, and then you're good to go. Again, look at the size of it, which is really small. Uh, hopefully, you guys enjoyed this hands-on review on Lenovo's yoga book. Uh, leave comments right below. Don't forget about hitting that like button, and i catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.